Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. That's a big one. Uh, you guys, uh, women and youths, should attend women's dialogue. But yesterday we didn't see any youth representing the Patriotic Front yesterday. What happened? Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, first of all, we, as Patriotic Front, we have chosen to advocate for coexistence and for peace and also we frown upon any act of violence expressed perpetrated by political you know cadres. we got intelligence report that Mr. Akainde through his functionaries after they saw the strength of patriotic front when our women marched on the 8th of uh, March they decided that they're going to use violence as a way of trying to scatter or dwindle our participation in the youth programs I want to state a sector general patriotic front I know what patriotic front is seated on we are, have a huge following of youths women as well as the Zambia people if the UPND continue on the path of wanting to use violence because we know that one of their key strategies for rigging elections in 2026 is to deploy violence I want to say to Ms. Akainde Chirema, I want to say to the leadership of UPND we are continuously containing our members and our cadres not to retaliate but I can assure are you if we decided to conduct the politics they were conducting when they were in opposition by encouraging their members to fight UPND we can thrash them and deal with them to power but as patriotic front we have chosen to advocate for coexistence the UPND must exist as a political party let their performance speak for them and so far their performance has spoken to the effect that this is a mediocre government with a, a mediocre leadership that has failed the Zambian people that is enough license for them to be removed out of government we don't need violence but as it were they beat up our people in Osaka in Chongwe in Chipata in northern province on the copper belt and Misaka in the HLM. The violence that will be perpetuated in 2021 with the support of foreign entities will not work in 2026. And therefore we warn, for the sake of the UPND cutters and those who are affiliated with UPND, can you restrain yourself from act, you know, engaging in violence so that after 2026 you can live in Zambia peacefully. Thank you very much and God bless.
Bueno, y
Tat exclusive. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.